Current time is 3.13 a.m. It is Sunday, October 6th. And... Good morning, everyone. Zach the Incredible Impression here today. Woohoo! As I mentioned, today is October 6th, which means it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you've seen this before. I'm wearing an appropriate t-shirt for this month. That's right. Zach the Incredible Impression supports breast cancer awareness. Today, we're going to go on a trip. Um, you guys have been here with me before, but let's just uh, let's just get going. We got about maybe a six and a half hour drive, so uh, let's just get going, okay? Trust me, you'll you'll recognize this place. We've been here before. Just trust me, okay? Guys, we have just hit a nice big patch of rain. I know that Hurricane Milton is on its way up here. Well, not really up here, but it's on its way over. So, for all my fellow Floridians who are going to be impacted, please, all of you stay safe. Maybe, perhaps, Milton will change his mind and instead of bringing us a huge storm, maybe, <laughs> maybe he'll actually rain down some chocolate. For those of you who get my drift, you should understand where I'm coming from. But please be kind to us, Milton. Please. Let's keep on going, folks. Current time is 5.58 a.m. And look at this, folks. We are out of Florida and into Georgia. We have crossed over the state line. Just about two hours and 13 minutes until the first stop of the day. Daylight is just starting to break. Current time is 7.17 a.m. And they are calling for storms today and rain. So I don't think we'll be able to do much at the second location that we're going to go to. But we're still en route to the first location. I just spoke to my mom and back home in Florida, it is raining like crazy. Apparently, there's going to be nothing but rain and storms all day in Florida. But let's just see how the weather turns out today. I love how the sky looks. It's just this awesome dark blue, blackish color. But we're going to keep going. Okay, we have arrived at the first place for the day, and this place should look rather familiar. Now, it's Sunday morning, and every place is closed, but it doesn't mean we can't just park and take a look around. So, let's do this. That's right, folks. We are back in Plains, Georgia, home of the 39th President of the United States. That's right, Jimmy, Jimmy Carter. As you all know, Jimmy just celebrated his 100th birthday. And I thought, out of respect, it would be a great idea to come back here and pay respects to our 39th president. 
Shut up, bird. <laughs> I never actually realized this up here, but there is some pretty cool things here that I never saw before. Looks something like a xylophone, maybe. It's too early, so I'm not going to play them. The Civil Rights Amendments. Wow. Yeah, I never saw this before. Not going to spend too much time on this stuff. But just want to look at this. We got the Bill of Rights here. What do we have here? I guess this is the United States Constitution. Wow. And look at this. We got a eagle up there. It's pretty cool. Now, I know these aren't the real documents, but they're pretty darn close. And it's the best we're going to get here. Now, here's the Declaration of Independence. There it is. And, of course, we all know John Hancock signed his signature the biggest. And it's right there, dead center. We got this over here. What's this all about? Oh, this is the 9-11 Memorial. That's pretty cool. I wonder what this is here. Is this a piece of the World Trade Center or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The raising of this monument was organized by Grady James Young of Boy Scout Troop 555 for his Eagle Scout Project 2024. So I guess this is Pretty brand new, maybe. I don't know, but that's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. And I never noticed this, either. The driving tour. This is for the tour that goes around. This shows you the driving route. Now, it does show where Jimmy... Carter still currently lives and where he and Rosalind lived for all these years. Closed to the public, though. It's actually right up that way. We'll go past it then. But there's the Plains Baptist Church. That's where President Carter taught Sunday school every week. Now, I just saw somebody come out of the trading post. I don't know. Maybe they're opened. Maybe they are. Let's go on in and see if we can see inside maybe this time. I don't know. No, maybe they're closed. I'll have to check. But I think they're closed. Oh, no, they're open today. Let's go back on in and take a look, folks. I'm going to... I'm going to stop the camera, though, in case they don't want me filming in here. I remember last time the gentleman asked me not to, but I'm going to double-check this time. All right, guys. Guess what? The gentleman here allowed me to film around here. Apparently, the publicity he really appreciates for the store. This is the trading post. We've got a lot of buttons and pins and stuff from all different presidents. And we've got Gary Hart right here. Gary Hart, some of you may remember. Women with heart. <laughs> Fruit fly of the year. Governor Moonbeam. And look at this one. LBJ. It's a transparent one, a transforming one. LBJ for the USA, and there's Lyndon Johnson. It's pretty cool. And there's Barry Goldwater. 
I don't remember what Miller's first name was, but that was pretty cool. Now, Barry Goldwater was actually on the Dean Martin roast a couple of times. I, I know he was there when they roasted Dean Martin, but I don't know which other ones he was on. And you got a lot of posters here and stuff. All of this stuff is actually for sale. Now, I asked a gentleman last time I was here if he could keep a lookout for a Jimmy Carter Esco figurine. Because the Escos actually made the presidents. They made John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, and then Esco in the early 2000s made a George W. Bush Esco statue, and they also made Bill Clinton. Now, I've seen there is actually a Jimmy Carter Esco on uh, eBay right now. I mean, it's in pretty dilapidated condition, needs a lot of repairs, but it's reasonably priced. Nixon Agnew, and there's a matchbox with it. <laughs> Now, because I'm in a hurry today, guys, I can't really show everything. There's our uh, beloved governor, Ron DeSantis, and Trump DeSantis. You know, it would have really been cool if uh, Trump would have chosen DeSantis as his running mate. That would have been pretty cool. Bill Richardson. Janet Reno in 96. That's pretty cool. There's just so much here. So much. <laughs> Oprah 2020. <laughs> Trump and Kim. We got the Pillsbury Doughboy right here. And there's Jimmy Carter on a front license plate. And the presidential prayer team. Wow, that's neat. I hate this gimbal sometimes. That's the only downfall of this camera is the gimbal. It likes to go all over the place. <laughs> I wanted to buy a couple other pins, but unfortunately, he doesn't take cards. He only takes checks, cash, or PayPal. And also, since we were talking about Barry Goldwater on... Ooh, sorry, ADHD moment. John Paul II, Welcome to America, October 1979. Wow. But going back to like Barry Goldwater being on uh, the Dean Martin roast and stuff, believe it or not, uh, Hubert Humphrey was also on the Dean Martin roast with Barry Goldwater when uh, Don Rickles was the moderator was the MC for the night, the roast master. And he was equally making fun of Barry Goldwater and Hubert Humphrey. And then Rich Little actually went up <laughs> and did his impression of Hubert Humphrey. I'll do that one with, for you when we get outside. Not going to do it here. Wow, these are nice old radios. Wow, look at that old Sony radio. $99. Not bad. These are all old ham radios. Everything here is pretty well priced. <laughs> be wise with us. Be good to us. President Carter and Barbara Walters. Yeah, we lost Barbara Walters a couple years ago. Incidentally... I just remembered Paul McCartney is now related to Barbara Walters through his wife, Nancy. She's, uh, I believe, a cousin of Barbara's. 
What are these? Oh, wow. Draft ev evaders. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I know these. Baba and Papu, my grandparents, had this for their front door. Yeah, they had that. I remember that all too well. I think I might actually have it in a box somewhere at home, but I'm not sure. And they still have a whole bunch of the bumper stickers, the campaign stickers. It's very rare you'll find these anymore. A lot of them you can find online, but it's very rare that you can walk into a store and find them. Got some books right here. And some commemorative plates. Wow. <laughs> Billy Carter's Redneck Power Pickup. That's cool. I wonder if they have any of the preserved Billy Beer cans. There's so much to see in here. It's just impossible to get everything. M&M Cash Store. This building was erected in 1902 by Everett Lunsford, John E. French, and Edwin Timmerman, and was named the General Store. In 1909, the building was sold to Alton Carter and renamed Plains Mercantile Company. In 1934, Mr. Carter sold the building to Hugh Hewlett Carlton. Mr. Carlton continued continued the merc mercantile, sorry, <laughs> the mercantile trade until 1935. Then he sold it to H.B. Moman, who renamed it M&M Cash Store. The store was in existence until the retirement of Mr. Moman in 1965. In 1966, Fane Sutherland purchased the business. In 1973, Ernest Turner bought the store and operated it through the campaign years. There's an old photo of what it used to look like. Hasn't changed very much. <laughs> Look at that. We've got buttons, as we just saw. And Jimmy Carter for cancer survivor. Now that's that's very dignified, very neat. And there's the peanut right there. Jimmy Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy. The country's largest political memorabilia dealer. Happy 100th birthday, Mr. President. October 1st, 2024. Okay, guys. The owner of the store told me that down, if you park down at the church up here where Jimmy taught Sunday school, you walk across the street, there is an observation mark, an indentation where you can actually see the house where Jimmy Carter still lives to this day. So, we're going to go down there and take a look. I was not sure if people were allowed to film on those premises but apparently you can so let's go do it so we got to walk down this road here the church is right over there where I parked the swamp church is right there you can see the swamp very small there there he is parked at the Methodist Church and we got to walk this way to get 
to the public viewpoint. Okay, guys, we have arrived. The Rosalind Carter Butterfly Trail. This was Rosalind's garden. And down here, you walk down this pathway here to the end. And here's where you can get a view of Jimmy Carter's home. And I believe straight ahead there is the residence. Right there is the residence of the 39th President of the United States, James Earl Carter. And as you know, he is still alive and living in that home. Of course, this is as close as we can go because the place is surrounded by Secret Service. Now, I did not know that I could actually film here like this, but apparently you can because this is a public area. Look at these awesome meadows and stuff and grassy area. Now, President Carter did come out here to witness the flyover on his 100th birthday. Now, I'm not exactly sure where it is, but... Now, here's a map of everything. We're here, and the Carter residence is right back there. So, I'm guessing that it's back there somewhere but unfortunately I guess you can't really see it from here because I thought that it was over there but apparently but apparently it's over here again this gimbal's messing with me but apparently it's back over there. But again, you can't see it from, from here. But this is the public viewing area. Now, the Carter Library is in Atlanta, the Presidential Library. Jimmy Carter lived here his entire life. Oh, look at this. A ladybug. Or some sort of a bug. Maybe it's a ladybug without the black spots. But still beautiful and tranquil out here. Listen to the birds humming and stuff. That is neato. Okay, we are walking back to the swamp, and we're going to get a move on here. Look at this. No stopping. Keep moving. Well, I guess I better do just that. No stopping. Keep moving. So, we'll move. It said, don't stop, keep on moving, so I did. Whew. Boy, I'm out of shape. Oh, boy. I need to start working out more. <laughs> On the topic of places to view, for the public to view things at, this place here would actually be a really nice 
location to do an exterior shot for a TV show or a movie or something. That would actually be pretty cool. Maybe fix it up a little bit or, you know, do a little editing or something like that. But that would be a pretty cool place to actually use as an exterior shot. And of course, we can't leave Plains, Georgia without paying a visit to the Smiling Peanut. That's right. We gotta go see him. Let's stop in and see the Smiling Peanut. There he is, right there. Well, how are you? It's great to be here once again. I love how accurately they replicated Jimmy's smile. Now, apparently, Jimmy Carter himself, <laughs> he hates this thing. He thinks it's like the, the dumbest thing in the world. Apparently, that's what, <laughs> that's what the guy at the trading post said. He thinks it is the dumbest creation known to man. But I say it's pretty... Incredible! Very incredible! Right? What do you guys think, huh? You guys think... Where's the gimbal? There it is. You guys think this is cool, huh? Do ya? <laughs> sure you do. Smiling peanut. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get out of here. Let's go to the next location. Almost at the next location of the day. Right now it is 3.31 p.m. Let me roll this window up. Right now it's 3.31 p.m. I took care of a couple other things. I had to deliver some things to a buddy of mine and actually stopped off at one of the local Comic Cons, well the uh, Scare Con that's going on here in Atlanta and I uh, just happened to bump in to two of the members of the band Skid Row. I'll pop the pictures up on your screen so you can see, but I was very lucky because I'm good friends with one of the coordinators there of the event, and I was able to get a photo with the two guys from Skid Row. So, I lucked out there, really lucked out, but we're heading to the next location, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, I have just purchased a ticket for the Sky Ride. It's a round trip ticket, but it's something I've wanted to do for a while. You remember last time we were here, I didn't have the opportunity to go on the Sky Ride because it was closed at the time. But this time, we are doing it. Hope everyone's doing well on this fantastic Sunday afternoon. My name is Eli. I'm going to be your conductor on the way up. Cars moving a little slow right now, but we are going to reach speeds of 12 moving. miles an hour, making our approximate travel time Ooh, 12 to miles per hour. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know how easy it is to see, but there's the car thing. From the trees is Stone Mountain. That is Georgia's most visited attraction. It is the largest massive exposed granite in the world. Measuring at 1,683 feet above sea level. 
Fun fact, who is the sign to the community? Stone Mountain is not known as a mountain, however, it is known as a granite pluton. Essentially, a massive igneous or volcanic rock that never erupted, cannot erupt, and eroded with the land over time. To think that that entire thing was underground at one point in time is absolutely absurd. If you take a good look at, uh, if you take a good look at the face of the mountain, that is the carving. It is the largest relief carving in the world, measuring 90 by 190 feet. Even bigger than Mount Rushmore. If you didn't just see what looked like it was speeding by, that was our blue car. It looks like it's going faster, but it's actually going the same speed because we are connected to a pulley system. At least I still hope we are. Wow, this is Alright everybody, as we get up to this uh, little white tower up here, we are going to swing and sway a little, but nonetheless, it is completely fine, completely normal, and completely safe. Might want to hold on to something. Or someone. Woo! To and fro. Part of the ride. <laughs> Ended up holding on to someone that you don't know. Hey, that means you just made a new friend today. Stone Mountain Park is not responsible for you finding hey, a love of your life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody, as we make our way into this station right here, we are going to experience a little bit of bumpiness, but once again, no worries. It is completely safe and completely normal, unlike the bumpiness on those Boeing jets. <laughs> For the sake of my life, that's a joke. My friends, we have arrived. Wow, this is a great view up here. My goodness. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, let's do some climbing, shall we? Ooh, ee, oh, ee, ah, ooh, ah, ee, ah, ooh. Beautiful. If you look out that way, you can just see it peeking over the horizon is downtown Atlanta. Kind of reminds me of the being at the Griffith Observatory in a way. Look at these water puddles here deep within the crevices of the rocks of the rock. Sorry. This is neat. Wow, this is so cool. I, I'm really not kidding when I say this is the kind of view to get on. Look at all these big holes in the rocks and stuff. Look at all that. It's almost like I'm standing on top of a volcano in a way.
And to think, all of this is granite. It's the same material that Mount Rushmore is carved out of. And as we all know, right down there, down there, is the Confederate carving. Which we'll go see again when we get back down to the base. And I'll find an area to take a nice picture, a still shot of myself. Let's see how close to the edge we can get without falling down and bopping our faces in. Last thing I want to do is bounce onto the shoulder of General Lee and off the goatee or the beard of Jefferson Davis and fall to my death. But yet again, there is water down there, but I don't think that's going to be uh, deep enough to cushion a fall as heavy as me, especially with the distance. Whatever you do, don't look down. That's the visitor center there that I vlogged from before. And that's where I stood. Well, actually, the visitor center is sticking up right there. That's the place across the street. Let's go as close as we can without falling over. This is kind of freaky. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little intimidated right now. Whoa. Okay, this is a little weird. This is a little bit scary. We are at the edge. That looks like some sort of a village of some sort down there. I don't know what it is, but Looks almost like a sort of a, like an amusement park slash shopping area. See those people down there? They look like tiny ants. I just wish this uh, camera zoomed better. You know what? I got an idea. Bear with me. Okay, guys. I'm using my phone now to try to get a better zoom in of the little area down there. But I know it's a little blurry, but... It's my phone, so I really do hate having to pull out my phone to use, but sometimes in crises like this, you just need a little bit of a better zoom. And as you can see down there, whoops, see my, how big my finger is? Look at this. Right down there is where I was vlogging last time, down there. And the carving is pretty much straight below us. It looks like they are getting ready for some sort of a show. I think that's the Halloween thing going on, the lights and everything, because you can see the the chairs down there and the big pumpkins and stuff. Pretty neat. I'm going to keep the phone for a minute, but I'm going to go over there and get a better view of the city. Boy, this is steep. I'm back on the camera now because I'm trying to climb back up the edge. <laughs> I feel like an old person hunched over. Now I know how old people feel. <laughs> For those of you who are watching who happen to be senior citizens, my deepest apologies. Don't judge me, Paul Blart. Oh, I think I made it. Whew. Whew. Wow, that was a workout. Whoa. It is nice up here, though. I mean, it's it's pretty hot, pretty sunny. 
but for the view and all there is up here, it's well worth it. Oh boy, I'm out of breath. Whew. Okay, back to the phone. Okay guys, I don't know how steady this is because it's so sunny out here. I can barely even see the screen, but that, I believe, if you can see it, if I'm focusing correctly, I think that's downtown Atlanta. Oh yes, yes it is. Downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Okay guys, it's getting pretty hot up here, so I think I'm gonna head back down the mountain, go catch the Sky Tram back down to the bottom of the mountain. We'll go take a look at the carving and then we'll uh, we'll head on out of here, but it is hot out here. Whew. I should not have worn long pants. Whew. Like I said at Lake Sumter, man. I'm sweating like Taylor Swift on election night. Whew. Guys, I didn't film the ride down because I was trying to get some good photos of the carving from the side of the mountain as we came down. I was trying to get some good photos with my phone, and I actually did. So I'll pop them up on the screen if uh, any of you are interested in seeing them. But right now we're gonna go back over to the observation area and take another look at the carving. I'll do another one for my phone as well, even though I did it that way last time. But uh, we'll take a look here. The security guard back there, the employee that works for the park, apparently up here, only people with wristbands are allowed. But I told him I was just coming to get a couple pictures of the carving and then pretty much gonna skedaddle. And he said, no, no, that's fine, you know. But they have the pumpkin fest going on right now. So that's what you need the wristbands for. But there's the carving, guys. That's a nice little centerpiece right there. It's kind of a picture frame perfect moment there. I don't know, maybe I'll have to get an actual picture of that and frame it. Hmm, not a bad idea. I gotta think about that one. Alright, time to use the phone and get some uh, detailed video. What do you say? There we go, that's a pretty good view. What do you guys think? See if maybe we can get a little closer. A little closer maybe? Oh yes. I don't know how the focus is and I'm sorry the phone is kind of wobbling back and forth because it's high quality zoom and it's, uh, it's kind of hard to keep it steady when it's zooming that far in. Now that's a really good view of it. I'm sorry about the focus again guys. Now that is a sight that is certainly incredible. And back to the camera again. Okay guys, it's getting really hot out here. Well, it is really hot, so uh, we're gonna head on out of here and got uh, something else I gotta do and uh, I'll be back with you then. From Stone Mountain, let's carry on. Current time is 9.15 p.m. Had a rich, full day today. Did a lot of things in one day and now we've got about six hours of a drive back home picked up a couple things and I will show you what they are as soon as we get home but for now let's just enjoy the ride shall we Shoot, guys, I'm running low on gas, and uh, I think I'm starting to lose my voice. I'm getting a little hoarse here, a little froggy in the throat. Maybe when I stop and get gas, I can maybe get a little something to coat my throat. But, uh, yeah, we got to find a place to get gas here, guys. All right, you guys, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for the first time. 
I'm gonna get gas at Bucky's. First time I'll ever be getting gas at a Bucky's. This is bound to be interesting. Let's do this, folks. Gas here is $2.49 per gallon. But let's do it. And even $30. 12.006 gallons. I guess the place is busy because of the hurricane showing up. Everybody's packing up their Suburbans and getting the heck out of town. Well, out of the state. People are probably thinking, Zach, you got to be nuts going back into hurricane state. Well, in a way, I guess I am, but... uh. My family's there, and uh, there's no way in heck I'm leaving them behind. So let's uh, let's go find a place to park and go inside, shall we? I need something to drink to coat my throat. Wow, it smells good already. Not bad. I wish I had, wish I could get some brisket actually. This place is huge. I swear to God, if there was a quote-unquote mall of America of gas stations, Bucky's would be it. They got their jerky over there. Maybe I'll go take a look. Yeah, I think I will. I got some time to kill. Guys back there chopping up fresh brisket. Look at that. And he got beaver chips right here. Got a little beaver potato chips, I guess. You know, if I was still hungry, I would be all over this stuff right here. Try to get a better zoom picture. Oh yes. Looks delish. Okay, get out of here, Zach. Get out of here. Don't, don't be doing that. Don't be, uh, don't be drooling all over the counter. That's very unsanitary, pal. Just ran into these two cool guys. What's up? What's up? How you guys Good. doing? Good. Fantastic. Absolutely. I'm single. It's You're single. Time. You're single. Yeah. All hey, right. Thank you for your service, guys. Appreciate yes, it. Take care, man. So they actually had to buy three pieces of fudge, get three free. So I thought, why not take advantage? So I got three of the regular peanut butters and three of the peanut butter chocolates. Now these are all going to go pretty quickly between Zach the Incredible Impression and the Junior Incredibles, as I like to call them. <laughs> and I've also picked up for Madam Incredible, some Korean barbecue beef jerky, but I'm going to have to ship this up to her because Madam Incredible is currently living out of state because she's taken a job that she's been wanting for a long time, so I got to ship it to her, but It'll be well worth it. Incidentally, those guys that were in there that I filmed, they asked me if they could be in the vlog, and they were admiring the camera. So, naturally, I couldn't resist. I had to say yes, absolutely. Plus, they were firefighters. I did not catch their names, but whatever your guys' names were, <laughs> thank you so much for your service, and thank you for uh, agreeing to be in the vlog. Well, thank you for asking to be in the vlog. And I appreciate your guys' support. And again, thank you for your service as firemen. 
You guys really make a difference. And we need more people to make a difference these days. We need to be kind to each other. We need to look out for each other. You know, that's something that, you know, you just don't see every day. So thank you to, thank you, to you too. It really means the world to me and to all of us. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's head on back on the road. Everybody is either leaving the fair or leaving Florida for because of the hurricane, but not me. I'm uh, I'm heading right into the eye of the storm, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know. Call me crazy. Call me weird. Call me what you will, you know. On our way back home, we're on our way home, we're on our way home. We're going home. Man, my voice is scratchy. All right, guys. Let's just enjoy the ride. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I am beat beyond belief. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me today on this wonderful adventure to Atlanta and Plains. I will see you guys next time. But for now, I will edit the vlog tomorrow. But before I go, I do want to show you guys the new additions to the collection these I picked up tonight one of the big reasons I went to Atlanta we've got Art Carney Jackie Gleason and John Wayne special thanks to my good friend Eddie Cook for these new additions to the Esco family welcome to the family guys you have a good home here that's going to do it for today, guys. Be sure and check me out on Facebook, Instagram, thezacarnold.com, etc., etc. Until we meet again, the vlog is over.